we don't get a we don't get a ton of opportunities to play at home, and the kids have been really excited about this. Uh, as soon as we saw GW on our schedule, they're a conference opponent in the non-conference contest, and uh, you know our our aim is, is to clearly win, but to be in front of a, an environment packed with students, friends, and faculty. I think one of the biggest surprises for some of the younger kids, and most of them are younger kids, is the, physic the physicality of the college game. Um, I had a lot of comments of, you know, she's grabbing and pulling and kicking, and the whole time it was like, yeah, I know. Um, we grew a lot over the weekend. I know three games is a very uh, small drop in the bucket compared to the 30 plus games in our season, but uh, it was a wonderful chance for us to start, a great way for us to start. And um, I think the most value I got from it is that I got to see exactly where we can improve spe specifically. Defensively speaking, uh, as much as we want to use our, our center on offense, we want to neutralize their center defensively. So you'll see a lot of zone coverage. Offensively speaking, we, we, we're very motion based. We like to put the ball into our center. Missy McCreary, uh, Kelly Fair are our two primary centers. And, uh, ideally, we want to bang the ball into them as much as possible, and we do that with a lot of off-ball motion. Um, so you're going to see, a, a, hopefully, a, a lot of activity on our offensive end. When we see our kids competing against each other all the time, um, you, num you never really know what to expect when it actually comes to game time. And quite frankly, from top to bottom, I was wholly impressed with our squad. Uh, Kate Wilkie, our goalkeeper, she was stellar over the weekend. Emily Wickenizer a.k.a. Wick, continued what she did in high school and she, she proved that she can score. But, uh, you know, there were surprises all around. Amber Rogers, defending two meters for the first time in her career, was, was, was wonderful at that. Krista Ponick, who transferred it to us from Utica, wasn't quite love, ready for this level, you know, three or four months ago. And she got tons of minutes and, and was really great. So, like I said, top to bottom, I, I couldn't be more happy with where we're at with the understanding that we got a lot of work to go.